Look what we have. Morning, good morning. It's literally beautiful. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. So today's video is gonna be just situated, separated, done a little differently. Usually for any of my videos, I start from the very beginning, but I wanna leave a lot of time because there's lots to go through in this collection right here. Um, and I wanna kinda put it, put almost all of it on my face for you guys and talk about it a little more because this is one of the most beautiful collections I've ever seen MAC come out with. This right here, my friends, is the Electric Wonder Collection from MAC. I do not, right off the bat, I do not keep packaging. Like, I don't keep the outer packaging. But when I tell you everything about this collection is so beautiful, I, like, will probably keep this packaging. Like, are you kidding? So this is the Electric Wonder Collection from MAC. We're just going to jump into this. We're going to play around with it. See how it goes, and um, I'm gonna tell you all about it. I've already done my foundation, my brows, um, powder, concealer, all that fun stuff. I'm going to list all of the products that I used for the entire look from start to finish in the description down below, but for the sake of this video, I wanna give us some time to go through this collection. Um, so we're just gonna start here. Mwah. So we've got tons of things in this collection. We have two eyeshadow palettes, a face palette, and we have some like bronzer blushes here. I'm gonna jump into the face palette while the train joins us in this video. So here is the face palette. It's pretty. So more of like a highlighter, bit of a blush palette. I'm actually gonna wait. I lied, we're not jumping to this one. Hold on. We have some bronzers in here. So we have two bronzers. This one right here is called Sun Soaked Strip. So just a really pretty matte bronzer. And the other one is called Canyon Dreamin'. Another bronzer, just a little bit lighter. Um, I feel like this might be a bronzer that I'm really gonna like, so. Hey. I'm gonna start off with Canyon Dreamin'. And I'm very happy that this bronzer right here is working. Guys, hold on, hold on. I just realized that we have a brush in this collection too. Wait a second. Here's this beautiful brush. Hi, can I use you? <laughs> wow, interesting. So super soft, liking this brush already. The only thing that I, I'm i like kind of disappointed is, is you can see the gold on all the packaging and it really just shines through and then the brush is just not. So this face brush is the 126 SES brush. It is a split face brush as they call it so it's got two different sides for two different products. I'm assuming this one's just kind of like for powder and this is more for like your blush highlighter. Um, that's my assumption. There's actually two brushes in the collection. The other is a small eye brush. They did not send that over to me. So I'm gonna insert a photo of um, what it looks like. You're welcome. Let's move on. So then we have the Electric Wonder Iridescent Powders. These I saw. And these are beautiful. So these are $36, the bronzers are 30. Wow, these are just beautiful. I think these are the most beautiful thing in the entire collection. Can we? Ah. <gasps> so I would definitely say that this one is called Into Eternity. This one's more of like your blush. And then this guy would definitely be a blush too. This is Serenity Seeker, but just maybe for the lighter skin tones. I am liking thus far, looking at just the face palettes in general, how you can definitely see like light to dark. There's definitely like a much lighter shade, a much darker shade for both the bronzers and the blushes. And I think that they would cover a really wide range of skin tones. I am actually going to try the lighter one. This is Serenity Seeker. So, and I think this is kind of this one particularly, sometimes in a lot of MAC collections, 
you'll just be able to wipe away like the design they have on top, which is sad sometimes. All right, guys, this one's actually coming out super gold and not giving me color, so darker one. So we're jumping into Into Eternity. There we go. Definitely like this one particularly would be just like a very shimmery blush. Cute. So now we finally jump into the face palette. They call it the Ignite Wonder Face Palette. And this is 4250. You get what I would consider three blushes and three highlighters. You can have your light to dark, light to dark in here. And I'm going to apply this shade. I'm going to apply this shade in the middle just for additional little blush. And then for highlighter, I'm going to mix the two lightest shades. Just a really nice, more... I would say more natural glow. So here are swatches of all of the iridescent powders, bronzers, as well as the face palette. So moving on to the eyes, you guys, we have two palettes. The first face palette or eye palette, this is called the Eyeshadow Times 10 Desert Lightning Palette. And this is more of your cool tone darker, bluey, gray colors. And here are swatches of that palette. Both of the eye palettes retail for $48. And just from looking at them, they have at least, I think, one shade that's already in the classic collection. The darker palette has a good amount of shimmers in it. And then moving on to the next palette, this is the Eyeshadow Times 12 Natural Vice Palette. And this is my favorite. This is definitely much of a warmer tone palette. This one has a lot more mattes in it than the darker palette. And here are swatches of this palette. So I think for the eyes, I'm gonna go with the warmer palette. I know that's kind of like basic, but I'm feeling basic today, so we're gonna we're gonna be basic. I'm gonna start off with Valley of the Goddess. So nothing new here. I love Mac's shadows. I worked for Mac for at least a year, a year, two years, and I really never had a problem with any of their shadows at all. They blended really nice. And then I'm gonna deepen up the crease with this shade, Matte Matique. So I'm gonna take a Rebel Pebble and put it on the outer corner. I'm gonna take Go Wilder and place this right on the lid. So kind of like right here. And then there's this beautiful shade called Diamond Butterfly that I want to use, but I did swatch it. Out of everything from the whole collection, that is the one thing that I swatched. So I'm gonna take the color right before called Sun Tweaked, so that we don't overdo it here. And I'm just gonna use Sun Tweaked right here on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go into Diamond Butterfly. And it's got a little bit of fallout because I feel like it's more of just like a glittery shade if you can see that. I feel like if you really want it super pigmented, throw some setting spray on your brush. And whatever's left over, I'm just gonna use to Add to the brow bone. I'm then gonna use these two eyeliners. I'm gonna use the Mally to tight line. And then I was kind of feeling green, so I'm gonna take Stash from Urban Decay. Apply this to the bottom lash. Kind of like just a little olive green here. And then add my shades to the bottom. Starting off with the darkest shade I used. Middle and lightest. 
I have the Tarte and Exterior Glam Lashes. I'm gonna pop those on, but right before, I'm gonna apply my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Okay, the lashes are on. Let's move on to the last and final part of this tutorial, which is the lips. There's lots of lip products part of this collection. I am missing two. I'm assuming because those are the online only ones. Let's see. So we have Life in Sophia. Or Sepia. in Sophia. So cute. Ooh, that's a really pretty shade. Really pretty shade. I'd put this on, but I'm looking for something a little lighter. We have Natural Born Leader. Very pretty as well. Feeling sentimental. Ooh, so light. But love that for like an ombre lip. And then we have Let's Messa Round. Yes, exactly the color I was looking for. Let's put it on. So this is more of a luster lipstick, so it's not gonna give us a ton of color. And then we have four lip glasses. This is Rock Stars. Coral of the Will. Coral of the Wild, sorry. Oh, look at this one. This one's called Nature Freak. Wow, that is really pretty. And the final shade that I have is Marble Fawn. That is really cool. It's like almost like a yellow gold, but it's not. So I'm gonna be really boring. I'm gonna put this guy on just to give a little more color. Finish everything off with some setting spray. Here are the swatches of all of the lip colors and I'll include some pictures of the lip colors that I do not have, which is one lipstick and one lip gloss. The lip glasses retail for $18.50 and the lipsticks for $19.50. And this is the final look, you guys. Um, I really like it. It's kind of boring. <sighs> Today is Father's Day and I am going out with my dad to, um, he wants to go to Sam's Club. And I mean, okay, <laughs> whatever you wanna do, dad. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed everything from this collection. I think that this collection is beautiful, especially the packaging on its own. I mean, wow. Let me know if you are going to be picking up anything from this collection. Everything should already, by the time this video goes out, you guys, this collection should be live online and in store. So let me know if you've picked up anything from this collection. Let me know your thoughts on it. And um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked how I set this video up different from all of my other reviews and collection videos and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to me right in the center of the screen. Make sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And watch all my other videos right here on the side. And that's all I have for today. I love you guys. And I'll see you soon.